I'll, I'll ask a question. I want, tobacco kills, alcohol kills, opiate prescription drugs kill, marijuana doesn't kill, and yet it's the only one out of those four that isn't legal. At, does that make sense to you, especially when it comes to medicinal marijuana, and maybe it could help old people with pain and suffering and that sort of thing in the later stages of life? How do you feel about well, that? Well, you know, I tell you, uh, I have talked to some folks who worked with a lot of wounded veterans. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, the, with, with these brain injuries and the suffering, uh, there has been demonstrated studies that medicinal marijuana helps to alleviate this incredible suffering that these troops are going through people who are going through cancer, uh, uh, end of life situations. There is a lot of promise and hope in here on the medicinal side. And I think it needs more study and more review. But just to say no and give people the pharmaceutical products. Right. Uh, we had a good friend, you know, and this happens far too often, uh, who had some mental issues, was taking some of these products and unfortunately she took her life. I mean. The pharmaceutical companies don't have all the answers, and we know that. I care about helping people, particularly our wounded veterans. Okay, so you would be open to, to uh, yeah, perhaps... Yeah, I'd, I'd be open to see how we can help relieve the pain of those that are suffering, in particular our veterans. Very good, all right. I, I can't imagine someone say, no, I, 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 I don't want them to be helped. <laughs> right. I mean, you know, the, <laughs> that's the message, though, that you often hear from people is, nope, nope sorry, you know, whatever. and. Uh, some people scratch their heads on well, that. Well, you know, I, I was there, and, and uh, I'm not going to go into a personal sure. situation, a personal family member with, under tremendous suffering right. and pain, and I did one of those, no, I'm not going there type approach. This goes about 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you continue to investigate, and you look at it, and you meet a lot of hurting people, particularly are those who, who've been wounded in combat. You need to, you know, you're looking at lives that can be helped. Folks, it's about helping lives. That's what I care about, helping people. So you're, I mean, there's been a stigma to marijuana since you and I are both young and, and right. beyond uh, that seems to have evolved a little bit in the, in the recent years. Right. Uh, 